guys, it's Jordan Byers, and today is the start of something interesting. Well, you guys are all seeing it at one time, but this is day one of a really cool project I'm starting. Well, yeah, yup, yup. Basically, what's gonna be happening is I'm gonna be wearing a Jeffree Star liquid lipstick every single day for the whole week. Today is Tuesday. Today's my first day of classes. So it's Tuesday, February 13th. I'm really excited about this. Um, Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks are my favorite formula um, that I've ever tried out so far. So I thought it'd be interesting to see what happens if I wear one all day long, every single day for a full entire week. And that's pretty much what this video is. So I pretty much own Everything Jeffree Star has ever, ever come out with. Um, I've never been on his PR list, so everything I've bought myself. Um, so you could say that I have a lot of options. So I literally have a full drawer of all my Jeffree Star stuff right here. So my first color for this week, I think I'm going to go with this one right here. This one is called Calabasas. Actually, before I apply this, I'm just going to go ahead and put some of this Farsali Rose Gold Elixir, just a tiny, tiny bit on my lips just so that I can have a really moisturized base. Cause I have very, very, very dry skin, including my lips. And we're gonna be wearing this all week. I mean, not all week, not the same. We're not wearing the same thing all week, like 24 hours, 24 seven but we are wearing this all day long, so I want to have a good base down. All right, now that that's on, it's time to head to class. I actually need to leave right now if I wanna make it in time for class. Woo! Okay, you guys, so I just finished all of my classes for the day. It is 3.44 p.m. Here's what my lipstick is looking like. Not too, too bad. It has worn away from like right here and stuff. Um, I applied it twice throughout the day after eating and then just again because I went to the bathroom and wanted to just like touch it up a little bit. But so far so good. It's wearing really well. No gross or anything so <sighs> I'm feeling good. All right you guys. Day two, it is Valentine's Day. I am about to go to class, yes. What are you doing on your Valentine's Day? Um, I've got 12 hours of classes today, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> so, I literally just got the Jeffree Star, um, what is it called, Love Sick collection in the mail yesterday. I did a whole video, I put it up, so if you wanna check that out. That's up, but since it is Valentine's Day, I think I'm gonna get a little bit festive. I'm wearing pink and white and like, I don't know, I'm just feeling real festive. So I'm gonna wear this color called Romeo. It's a beautiful pink. Hold on! I forgot to put a lip oil on first. All right, so this is how it looks like on. Honestly, the, full pigmentation. I chose to wear this one because this is my favorite one and I think this is the best one formula-wise. Oh my gosh, my dogs are being wild chickens right now. I am so sorry for that noise, but I really, really like the formula of this guy. It's so opaque, one swipe coverage. It's definitely a really good one if you're going to be wearing it all day long. So, let's get into the day. All right, you guys, so it is 4.08 p.m. and oh my gosh, I finished two classes and now I have one last class to go to. I am dead. My brain is dead. I had a math midterm. I had a midterm presentation this morning and now I'm off to go to another presentation for midterms and then three hours of class. So. Joby is running on empty right now, but you know what's not running on empty? This lipstick. <sighs> this lipstick is so freaking good. You guys, I kid you not. I ate lunch and I went in. I went 
in on lunch today and the lipstick only like came off like right here all right here like the normal spots for lipstick to wear off but other than that even like the middle of my my whole bottom lip was still there it was just right here and right here that it had worn off but nothing like even noticeable like at all it was just like something personal where I was just like oh I just need to fill that little bit in you guys this lipstick it doesn't feel like it doesn't feel crusty it doesn't feel cakey you guys I am absolutely so impressed with the wear of this like what All right, you guys, it is day three of wearing Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks every single day. So today, I've decided to wear the color Daddy from the Manny and Jeffree collab. I think it'll go pretty well with this eye look, so let's just pop it on real quick. Surprisingly, it doesn't look that bad. At first, I thought, when I first started to put it on, I was like, this is a bit dark, but it's such a neutral brown color that it doesn't really disrupt what's going on up on my eyeballs. So, yeah, let's continue the rest of the day. Put this makeup, though. It's cute, right? Is it cute? Feel myself. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, this one did not hold up real well against the sandwich. Oh, shoot. Look at that highlight, though. Girl! I'm so weird, but this has, this is done. This is, um, yeah, this is done for the day. It was nice, and then I ate a sandwich. All right, you guys, today I'm going to Disneyland. I am so stinking excited. Um, so I have decided to go with the color Celebrity Skin. No, I mean Skin Tight. This is Skin Tight, and this is one of the little minis that Jeffree Star Cosmetics came out with, but I'm also gonna bring my bullet version of Skin Tight just in case it gets uncomfortable to wear throughout the day. Like, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I need a lipstick bullet consistency over top just so it doesn't feel like my lips are falling off. All right, there we go. It's time to start. My day. All right, you guys. So basically, I didn't get to close out yesterday's part of the video. So um, I'm just going to tell you guys how I felt after. Okay, so yesterday I was using this skin tight liquid lipstick, but I also brought the bullet. And throughout, after eating like lunch, breakfast, brunch, whatever you wanna call it, I had put this on over top of the liquid lipstick. And throughout the day, it just kind of got very chunky and like thick. So I definitely don't recommend wearing these two formulas together just because it got to be too much on my lips and I was not a fan of that. So today I'm just gonna stick with a liquid lipstick and not worry about mixing the formulas because I didn't like how that ended up and my lips got all crusty and gross. So I don't think I'm going to be mixing the different formulas again, but it's nice that I tried that out. So now that I know and I can have nice flawless lipstick. So today I'm going out to lunch with a friend. So I'm keeping it very natural. I've got the whole glossy lid thing going on simple makeup and then I'm just going to pop on this lipstick in chrysanthemum. It has a beautiful gold shimmer in it. All right, so that is that and now I'm gonna get going with my day.
right, you guys. So it's literally it's 5.45. So it's almost 6 o'clock. I've had this lippy on all day. And honestly, does not look bad. But I'm feeling by like this time of the day, I'm just like, shoot, I just want to take it off. Like I just need, I just don't want to be wearing lipstick right now. And that's kind of how I'm feeling. Like I don't know if you guys feel ever like throughout the day, you're just like, oh, I just want to get this lipstick off. Like I just want to take off my dang lipstick. Cause that's how I'm feeling right now. I mean, it looks good on. Like it's not like cakey or looking gross or anything. But I'm just, it's just at the point where I'm just like, I need to take off my makeup and like, go to bed. All right, you guys, it is day six. And I'm putting on some of the Tarte Maracuja oil. I just used my, y'all need shush. I just used my Jeffree Star lip scrub so my lips are all nice and plumped and crust free. <laughs> so today I'm using the lipstick in Leo. So this is the lip color for the day. Let's get into the rest of day six. All right, you guys, so I just ate some food and drank an iced coffee. She's gonna need a touch up. <laughs> yeah, I just ate a pulled pork sandwich. It's over. <laughs> the lipstick was done. Alright you guys, it is the last day of wearing Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks every single day for a week. And for today's video, I'm wearing like a really cute little navy blue sweater. So I thought I would kind of contrast that with an orangey toned nude. Well this isn't... Yeah, this is like an orangey toned nude. Maybe a little bit of a peachy undertone. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I thought that contrast would be really pretty, but this is the liquid lipstick in Nathan. This was the Jeffree Star, or the Star Family Collection. Woo! All right, so there we go. It's on, and honestly, I really, really do like this color. I think it is a absolutely gorgeous shade. And yeah, I'm really into this. Nathan, you made a nice color. The last day. Looks pretty darn good. It's been like 10 hours. It's been 10 hours since I first put on my lipstick. I only retouched it once after I ate lunch, and that is it. This is what it has come to, and honestly, it's looking pretty darn good. So, uh, wow. 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 All right, you guys. So, I have just finished wearing a Jeffree Star liquid lipstick every single day for an entire week, and here are my thoughts. Your liquid lipstick will only look good and stay on long and look good as long as you want it to look good <laughs> if your lips are exfoliated beforehand and if you put on a lip oil or lip primer before putting on a liquid lipstick. So I noticed throughout the week that it looked the best when I exfoliated beforehand and that doesn't mean that you have to use a lip scrub or do any type of weird use a product for that. Literally, I just take a washcloth, dip it in water, warm water, 
and I just rub out the dead skin on my lips in circles and eventually it all sloughs off. So you don't have to use a product to exfoliate your lips. You can just use a towel and then putting on a lip oil or lip primer or maybe just a little bit of chapstick or something on beforehand really makes the biggest difference. I also learned to be more confident when wearing a liquid lipstick. Before I was very insecure about wearing um, dark or not natural looking liquid lipstick colors because sometimes, or as you guys saw throughout the week, it will fade in the inner corners and like where you, like the middle part of your lips like after eating and stuff. And I guess I learned not to be so insecure about that because after eating, I would just simply just put on a tiny bit more applied to those areas. And some of the times, like if the liquid lipstick was really, really on there, I didn't even have to touch up at all. So I guess throughout this experience, I learned not to be so self-conscious about my lipstick. Like, eat your dang cheeseburger, like eat your dang sandwich and just touch up your lipstick after. So now I feel like I'm definitely more confident with wearing brighter, darker, more insane colors than just sticking to nudes and natural lip colors. So that's definitely what I learned from this week. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for going through this little journey with me. If you enjoyed it, leave a like down below and subscribe and put on notifications if you're really, really nice. Anyways, thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.